Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I've got to give the writers of the upcoming Dungeons & Dragons movie a little bit of credit here, because at least they're warning people not to go to see their absolute canine fecal matter before it's released at the cinema and before some unfortunate people may, because I don't think many will, may have parted with their hard-earned cash. This is coming from CBR. Jeez. The Dungeons and Dragons movie intentionally emasculates its leading men. Dungeons and Dragons honor amongst thieves, in whatever, uh, writing team John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein revealed they intentionally emasculated in quotes the film's leading men though not for wokeness really really because that statement in itself tells your audience that you are garbage writers first and foremost before anything before any ideology it says that you're garbage writers do you remember the film red sonia way back when with bridget nielsen that's going to be remade. Oh, boy. Do you know who else was alongside her co-star, which was actually first build, but, you know, he's a massive star. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's who. Did they emasculate Arnold Schwarzenegger for that movie? No. Why? Because a strong female, literally, in the case of Red Sonia, and a strong male can coexist at the same time. The fact that you have admitted to emasculating your male characters because you wanted to lift up your female characters. No, you've just said we had to lower our male characters to the level of the women. Do you know actually how sexist and demeaning that actually is? And I think I said actually twice. And because I said it again, thrice. I ain't got X-Ray Girl here to do my maths for me, all right? Steady on there. So you have just said, we lowered the male characters to become on parity so the female characters look better. The bigotry of low expectation, as Gary would say. But it is here rampant. <laughs> Before any ideology... So you've just shown that you are not capable, you're not clever, you're not good enough as a writer to have strong male characters and strong female characters coexisting. Remember the Matrix. Remember Neo. Neo was the chosen one. He was the one that could do all sorts of shit. But do you know who else was great in that movie? Trinity. Do you know who was beloved by fans in that movie? Trinity. Do you know who they didn't have to emasculate in the movie so that Trinity could be as cool as she was? Neo. I could go on countless examples. Maybe on Sunday when I do afternoon tea with Az, we'll go through some of them because I'm likely going to go through this article then as well. So you have just shown before any ideological comes into play anything ideologically comes into play you've just said we're garbage writers we had to lower our own male characters in an attempt to lift our female characters because female characters are weaker than men because we are so bad at writing we can't put them on parity we're not good enough or clever enough or talented enough to do so however let us bring in the ideological aspect of it as well because this film probably went into production around 2021 everybody was held at gunpoint inside their house by a corrupt government and you at the height of the man bad men bad intersectional feminism good where 
a ton of shitload of intersectional feminist garbage had been coming out marvel phase four being a prime example of that you are saying that oh no this wasn't an ideological decision not only are you crap writers but you're also fucking liars because i guarantee you i guarantee you that this was also done from an ideological standpoint men bad Me time's up men remember time's up This movie is going to bomb worse than Pearl Harbor. It doesn't matter. While speaking with Variate, Daly and Goldstein discussed how Michelle Rodriguez's Holga the Barbarian and Sophia Lillis's Doric the Druid tend to engage in the front lines of battle compared to their male party members. <laughs> Quote, That was not an attempt at wokeness on our part, Goldstein said. Daly elaborated, saying, Swear to God it wasn't. We like that Holger is the bruiser that does the dirty work for Edgin, and he doesn't like to get his hands dirty so we also love emasculating leading men holy shit what a great ringing endorsement not to go to the cinema to watch your dog shit a ringing endorsement we have fucked the characters we promise it's not from for an ideological standpoint which it is we're garbage writers because we can't make women strong and men strong at the same time because that ideologically doesn't line up. But I love it. I'm so happy you said this. I'm so proud of you. Because now I can make a video, other people can make a video about this and, and hopefully... A few people that may have been interested in seeing this fucking dog shit can now turn around and go, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, so they're admitting that they're emasculating their male characters to elevate their female characters, and then they're claiming it's not ideological. They just like fucking with male characters. You like fucking with other people's money. You're here to make a profit. You're here to put out something entertaining. When you make a bold statement like, we, we like to mess around with it, it's not your fucking job to do so. You're getting paid good money to create something which should be entertaining, but you're not. You're not. You're once again letting your own narcissism and hubris get in the way of that, and you're admitting to the world that you're creating something that's absolute dog shit. So as a, as a male who likes to see both strong female and male characters on a screen, particularly when it comes to fantasy, sword and sorcery, I like my women to be in chain mail and swinging a sword and cutting heads off. Conan the Barbarian will always be one of my favorite movies of all time. Great cast, great female character in it. Do you want to live forever? saving the life of arnold schwarzenegger in that as well her spirit saved his life blinded the enemy when arnold was just about to be killed giving arnold the chance to pick up his weapon and kill the guy was arnold emasculated because of that no was arnold diminished because of that no A great little storyline saw its way through. She fulfilled her bargain. She, her prayer was answered and she fulfilled her bargain. Great stuff. But then you get these pathetic soy-based entities that come out with dog shit comments like this. 
We ruined the movie because, oh my God. Is it any wonder that the, the movie industry is in the absolute toilet that it is? And I know Nerdrotic plays time and time again on his channel, the clip from Peter Jackson, where Peter Jackson is talking about the movies and he said, we, we didn't want to put our messages in. We wanted to put Tolkien's messages in. Now, the same, uh, the same humbleness of that should resonate with filmmakers when you are creating these products. Just because you like fucking around and emasculating male characters doesn't mean that you should. Because people who do like to see sword and sorcery fantasy on the screen, even if it's just some silly romp, they don't want to see characters cucked. They don't want to see characters diminished. So that you can push an ideology, which you are doing and saying that you aren't is bullshit and a liar. There is a there is a, a group of, of fantasy movies called Mythica. Now, I'm not gonna pretend they're fantastic. They're fan-made movies. And they're made on a budget of around a hundred thousand dollars a movie. Not much at all. They tend to be crowdfunded, I think, for the most part. But even with that, I see, I see so much more passion and uh, creativity and desire. And by the way, they have the, some amazing costumes. They do have some incredible costumes. They're limited on how they can do CGI and stuff like that. But fantasy is about using your imagination as well. So they're kind of hoping that you'll go along and, and use your imagination with some of that. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. When I see that the product is coming from a, a place of passion and love and desire to produce something that the audience are going to love, male or female, because there's only two fucking genders. And then you see this. This absolute trash. And Dungeons and Dragons is in the toilet anyway. Well done. You just told people not to watch your piece of shit. I'm going to take you up on that officer. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.